Welcome by in a Kraken and Ravnica pack uh, movie. So we have an MTG arena here. We have uh, 40 packs to crack, 40 guilds of Ravnica packs. So let's start uh, cracking. So our first booster Citywide Bust. Um, not a very good card. It's fringely playable. Um, if this was a draft, the card I would pick, first pick, is probably Electrostatic Field, otherwise Healer's Hawk. Or Dark Blade Agent, this is also a good limited card. Okay, um, what do we have here? Yeah, a mythic, a uh, mythic, a rare wild card, always a good find. Uh, best card here uh, for limited is Artful Takedown. Um, I also like the mirror informant and enhanced surveillance, but uh, my first pick would be Artful Takedown. Dawn of Hope, very good limited card. Um, I would pick Dawn of Hope here. It's um, a card that always gives you advantage, uh, definitely when the game goes late. Otherwise, I think I would pick Affectionate Indrake above Command the Storm. Belt Collector. Uh, my first pick for a draft would be Night for Predator. Uh, I like uh, Demir more than Boros. If it's best of one, I think uh, True Fire Captain is a better pick because I think Boros is better in best of one. In best of three, I would pick Knight for Predator. Um, I would pick both cards above Pelt Collector, by the way. I'm not a big fan of uh, either uh, uh, Slesnia or Gogari. So. That being said, let's open another booster. So, what do we got here? We got Murmuring Mystic and Firemind's Research. Uh, Firemind's Research is not a good limited card. Mm, the card I would pick, first pick, would be Murmuring Mystic. A very good uh, card. Can show a lot of advantage with a lot of bird tokens. And it doesn't die to a lot of removal. So, um, a very good card. Um, other good cards are Swarm and Guild Mage and Electromancer, but not on the same research, uh, same level as Murmuring Mystic, uh, but both are better than Firemind's research. Okay. Ah, a Magic Wild card, because I opened six uh, packs. 30 more to my next one, six more to another Wild Rare card. And, <laughs> or just this Rare Wild card. Uh, Rare wild card is always good because you can choose your own uh, card that you want. Uh, for limited, my first pick would be Wojcik Bodyguard. Um, otherwise, the Whisper Agent. Uh, but I think Wojcik Bodyguard is better. And uh, is uh, Boris is a good kill. Definitely best of one. Best of three, I would still pick the Bodyguard above the Whisper Agent first pick. Watery Grave, nice to have uh, lands. I don't think I had all Watery Graves yet, so that's always good. Um, yeah, not much good cards for limit here, except the Legion Guild Mage, which uh, I would always take from this pack. Okay, Assassin's Trophy, nice. <laughs> Uh, that would be my first pick in Guild of Africa as well, in Limited. Otherwise, the Glaive of Guild, co Guild pack is a good card. Definitely when you take it early so you can pick up uh, enough Guilds. So, yeah. Okay. Thousand Year Storm, our first Mythic, uh, but not a good one. Uh, very slow. The effect is very good, of course. Um, for limited, I would pay, take Lava Coal above Direct Current, I think. Just a little bit more efficient. 
Although Dire Current is a good card as well. Okay. Gruesome Menagerie. I haven't played this card in Limited yet. Although I've played a lot of drafts. I just don't pick it because it doesn't seem that good. Of course, if you have uh, a 3 drop, a 2 drop, and a 1 drop that are relevant, it's a very good card. But that are rare oca occasions. My first pick here would be Nightfall Sprite. So that's our first 10. 30 more to go. Chamber Sentry. Um, I think Chamber Sentry can be a first pick, but I don't think I'll take it above Escapable Blaze or Watcher in the Mist. Because um, I'm not a big fan of all the all color uh, decks. Four or more. If you're fi all five colors. Yeah. It's a good card if you have all five. If you play all five colors, and then first pick, first pick, you can take it. Mm, but I don't think I would take it. I think I would pick, take Watcher in the Mist. Hmm, two wild cards and I zone. Oh, that was a quick. Uh, one, but I would take a zone first pick, first pack. So, yeah, I really am. That was uh, one of the cards I was missing from the whole uh, Guild of Ravnica. So, good pick up. Of course, this is the first pick. It's just an incredible bomb. It's also in Boros, which is one of the best uh, guilds. Uh, other good cards is our Ledev Champion and Hypothesis. Well. I would take Hypothesis over the Death Champion, uh, but not over Aurelia, of course. And I would take Hypothesis on both of the Death Champion because I'm more into Is It than I'm into uh, Celestia. And I think you can play Hypothesis on Demir as well, with just a tiny splash. Uh, and another where uh, the mythic doom whisper very good card and of course the first pick it's a, a limited bomb um, it's also a very standard playable um, if doom whisper was in the pack i would take a radical idea i think oh because it's more flexible i think than the vicious cover of savage strands or selective snare but yeah, they're all playable, I guess. Can't fault you for taking any uh, different cards. Okay, so we have another pack here. And the rare is a Mythic Rare Wild card. So, we're not unlucky with the uh, Mythics. I think this is the fourth Mythic in 15 packs. Um, so, we can't complain about that. Um, for limited, our first pick would be Status Statue. It's easier special, than, I think, than Swarm of Guild Mage. And um, it's also playable in only uh, as a status. Uh, of, or of course, Statue is better, but uh, you can also just play Status. So I would take this, that card uh, as a first pick. And another rare wild card. Um, for limited, we only have choices between six cards now because there are two wild cards in here. But uh, that would be an easy Sunhome Stalwart. It's a very good card in Boros or, so, or also Celestine. If you have a turn one bird and then a Sunhome Stalwart, the game is almost uh, out of hand already. Uh, so it's a very good card. Um, if that wasn't here, I would take Dark Blade Agent above Close Post Shaman. Or the Skyling Scout. And another Royal Wild card, so we definitely can't complain. Um, so, first pick would be Luminous, Luminous Bonds. And if Luminous Bonds was in the pack, I would take Goblin Crater Maker. It's very versatile card. 
uh, can destroy target col destroy target colors non and permanent, or deal two damage to target creature. Uh, both can uh, both options can be viable and limited, and uh, just having a two two four two is always good. So on to the next. This will shoot. Um, yeah, fine pickup as well. Playable and standard, so could have the, another one of those. I didn't have the full set yet. Um, for limited, I would take ritual of shoot. Uh, most people ca don't see it coming, and it's just such a blowout. Um, if that wasn't in the pack, I would take Legion Guildmates over Whispering Snitch, because Whispering Snitch isn't playable in Golgari. Because you have to surveil, uh, have a lot of surveil to be playable. So it doesn't matter if you take Legion Guild Mage or Whispering Snitch, both uh, drag you into one guild. Okay, Erratic Cyclops. Um, it's a playable card in limited, definitely a banger is it. But it's not something I would first pick. Um, I think I had. If I had to choose, I would take Night Fuse Pride over Watcher in the Mist. Although, because I really like it if you can play pick up one or two Dark Blade Agents or a Demon Spy, but it's it's uh, smooth your draws and it's also uh, yeah lets you draw cards if you have the Night Fuse the not the Natural Predator, sorry the two three which deals combat damage. Uh, you draw a card and gains that touch. I can't uh, think of the name right now. So I think I would take Night for Sprite above Watcher in the Mist. Huh, another Firemind Research. Not a card I like, but uh, sure. Uh, first pick I would take Watcher in the Mist above Status Chatsu, which would be my second uh, choice. So that's our first 20 bucks, 20 more to go. Another gruesome menagerie. Um, as mentioned before, I would not take this first. Um, I would take Skynet Legionnaire here. I like it more than sm Smelt White Minotaur. Um, okay, sure, it's, it's a Boros card. And this is playable in both uh, is it and Boros. I would still take the Legionnaire. <laughs> another Thousand Year Storm. Another Mythic, but not I want. Uh, I want. Ooh, we have some very good cards here. Uh, this information campaign, Deadly Visit, uh, Watcher in the Mist, and Whisper Agent are all very good. Um, I think I would take this information component but the above deadly visit. I don't know if it's the right choice, but I really like this information campaign. But I really like this information campaign. So if it's your first pick, you can pick up a lot of surveil, and then it becomes just a very good card. Deadly visit is always good as well, of course. Um, I, I don't know if it's the correct pick, but it's the pick I like to my uh, preference. Etrata, um, I'm not a big fan of Etrata in uh, Limited, it's a good card, um, but it's expensive, it's 4 mana, it deals 3 damage and then it's, sh it's shuffled again, ok, of course you can pick up the best card, but yeah, it has to live and it doesn't do, imme doesn't do something immediately, so it's a good card, it's a 3-5 blocker as well, so it it's not like it is a bad uh, card. I think I would pick it above Affectionate Indrake, but I, I like Affectionate Indrake a lot as well. Okay. I also like Rosemary Centaur. No, oh, and High Potion is also a good card. But not as good as the two above. Oh, nice. Vraska, another uh, Mythic. So we're not shy in the mythic department. Um, yeah, I would take Frasca above Escapable Blaze. If Frasca wasn't in the pack, I would take Escapable Blaze. 
Um, I don't like how cards drop that much unlimited. I would say pick uh, honorary, go honorary goblin above it, and maybe even relicardy. I don't think I would do that, but still, it's a. Uh, um, I don't like uh, the Hellcat well much in limited. Charnel's roll. Um, I'm not a big fan of Charnel's roll in limited. It's um, it's decent, of course. It's a four four for three, and. Um, it can do a lot of work, but uh, you have to have a lot of creatures, and it's still vulnerable to removal. So um, I think I would take Knights of Spite uh, over it, and also Hypothesis. Well. Oh, and <laughs> opens our uh, rare forest. Um, not a big fan of mission briefing. I think I take inescapable blaze blaze above watcher in the mist. So inescapable blaze watcher in the mist whispering agent and then mission briefing. Hey, and we open a, a vault I think. So that's nice as well. Thief of sanity, a very good uh, card. Uh, f 2 2 for 3 with flying is always good and a huge upside because you can still, uh, when it hits, you can always play the card later. Um, the sanity doesn't have to be on the battlefield to play the card. So, yeah, that's a very good card and uh, definitely first pick. Otherwise, it would be a uh, beacon bolt. No, keeps opening uh, the rare for us. Uh, steam vents, always nice for uh, standard. I have all four, so that goes uh, into the vault. Um, for limited, I would pick, take top uh, phantasm above whispering snitch. Okay, another silhouette bust. Um, not, a, not so many good options. I um, think City White Bus would be the pick, and otherwise, part some bets. Not a huge fan of Lot of the Giant or any of the other cards. So. Uh, Trostani, another mythic. Um, solid first pick, playable and standard, nothing to complain about. Uh, it's um, a good pack anyway. Um, I would take Deadly Visit if Trostani wasn't here. Otherwise, Direct Current and then Comment Storm, both are uh, good first picks. So, yeah, 10 more boosters to go. Let's see if we keep uh, getting lucky. Risk factor, uh, good for the burn deck, uh, not so good in limited. For limited, I would take Goblin Banneret, Pist Piston Fist Cyclops, or Dead Weight, I think. Um, depends on my mood, really. I think Goblin Banneret is um, a good card, although it's a 1 1. Um, yeah, but for Boris, it's it can pump uh, some of your two drops uh, really quick, so I think I would take that above that weight or piston six cyclops. Thinks it comes down to my preference, but um, I can't fault you for taking any of the other two cards. Yeah, another pack, chromatic lantern. Not something I would take. Um, I th I think I would take the direct current above the Dragonauts and otherwise I would take the mere informant. Ah. Another mythic with Arc Lake Phoenix, 
I have all four. So that's a shame that it goes to waste. Um, yeah, a few good cards. Um, I think I would pay, take Chemist's Insight. That way, Necrotic Wound. If that is, if our like, Phoenix wasn't in the pack. That would uh, even in limit. It's not a, a, as good as a card for limited as it is for standard, but I would st uh, still take it. I don't know if it's better than Chemist's Insight, but I think I would take Arc Light Phoenix. Another rare wild card. Um, Price of Fame would be my first pick. Um, very good um, removal. Pay four, kill everything, um, or sometimes pay two, but it uh, doesn't come up a lot. Uh, it, but it also surveils too, so you ca can look at your next two picks. So it smoothens your draws as well. Otherwise, uh, Conclave Guildmates. Um, I don't think the guild mages are um, insane or something, but once you go to the late game. They become incredibly powerful, so um, always a good pickup. And another Golgari, nice. So uh, I have four Golgaris now as well, so uh, we don't need any more of those uh, again. Um, yeah, Frasca. <laughs> I say Golgari, but I mean Frasca Golgari Queen. Um, yeah, this one first, then uh, Affectionate Indrake, otherwise uh, Parhelion Patrol. So one more booster and we open another uh, Mythic Rare World card. So let's start cracking. Venerated Luxino. Um, yeah, card I would take first pick. Uh, very good with uh, Convoke. Um, that wasn't here, Pesho Adept. Amara, nice. Um, yeah, first pick, Amara. Um, otherwise, no, there are not that many good cards, I think. Radical ID. Um, I do like the Wishcon Crab, but not as a first pick. I uh, think it's playable in uh, so both uh, Izzet and uh, Demir. So, uh, and also like Mephitic Vapors. And I'm not a really huge fan of the other cards, uh, to be honest. Although Crossing Canopy is a good sideboard option. So we have three more packs to go. Let's hope we uh, open something nice. Another chain with Sandry. Mm. Yeah, we already discussed this. So. Although I think in this pack I would take chain with Sandry just to try it. Um, otherwise, affectionate Indrake is a good option as well. Hmm. Bounty of Might. I would take Bounty of Might here. It's um, a trick. People don't see coming, and if they do see it coming, it's very hard to block profitable anyway, because it gives three creatures uh, plus three plus three, or one creature plus nine plus nine. So, yeah, it's um, a very good uh, card to have, trick to have. Um, the Death Champion is nice, and Piston Fist Cyclops is nice as well. So we go to our last pack. Ah, an overgrown tomb. Nice um, end card to have. I didn't have all four, so now I have. Uh, yeah, not unhappy with our, our picks. We got two frost cards, we got a few mythics, we got um, sh a lot of wild cards. So, yeah, nice opening. No. Since we're opening anyway, we have our vault uh, ready, 116%. So let's. Uh, Open this as well while we're at it. And we got another Mythic Rare Wild card with two Rare Wild cards and three Uncommon uh, cards. So, 
Yeah. In total, I can make eight mythic rares, eighteen rares, forty-five on commons, and twenty-nine commons. Um. So, yeah. Nice to have that uh, option for uh, when the new set comes out. Um, I don't need much from this set anymore, so uh, good to have that available. Okay, that was it. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.